hello again we're down at the delta we're going to take the engine out so the first thing we need to do is strip the front end off so we need to get the uh, get the bumper off so we'll get these panels off and get these bolts out undo the spotlight and the winkers and we'll, we'll draw the bumper out Use that remove the bonnet so if you've got um, help remove it from these two hinges if you're on your own like I am today take the un just undo the three screws in the top of the grill close the bonnet gently ease the grill off from its clips be gentle because these these little clips are uh, delicate and then that will reveal the nuts the bolts behind the hinges that fix it from the front so you can draw the um, draw the bonnet off that way so let's do that so these are the hinges here and they're the inside bolts so we can open the open the bonnet get this one with an open ender and then get that one with the socket from outside with the bonnet closed again. With these bolts drawn out from the inside here, these 13 mm bolts, we can draw the bonnet out like that. So it's a uh, one-man operation. We've got the front end trim off. So here we've got the trim off there. We're getting the flap down. We've got the oil cooler off. We're going to, next thing we're going to do is drain, drain the radiator and then take the radiator out. Then the intercooler and um, keep on stripping the front end. And then battery and battery tray. We've got the radiator drained and we've got these 13 milli bolts out of the two mountings. So we draw the radiator forward, but it catches on the uh, radiator grill mounting, so we've got to get those out. So we get those out, put them in the box, and then we can draw the radiator out. We've got the hoses undone. We can draw the radiator out. We'll undo it here. And over here. That's tight. Undone, so we can pull the radiator out and drain it. As we get further into the strip down, it starts to get a little bit complicated, a bit jigsaw puzzle ish. So there's the battery tray 13 milli bolts, 13 milli nuts, but that last one there goes through the metal work into the inner wing so that means we've got to take the wheel off uh, and the um, uh, wing liner off to access that nut there uh, to take the battery tray out the wheels off inner wings off the battery box is out now uh, we're going to get the bracing bar off. Now this here is uh, a 19mm 
That's a 19 mil. This one is an 18 mil. So they can be quite tight. So uh, don't try and get it off for two 19s. It needs an 18 mil. Now you might only have an 18 mil socket. So it's a bit difficult to get the socket on that end because of this here. So it's a good idea when you put these back, put the nut on this side and then you can you can easily access it, access it with a socket because you might not have an 18 mil spanner. Also, I've marked this with an X. That's with an X. So when we put it back, we can get it the same way because uh, you will forget. You've got a lot more to do yet. Next job, I get all these uh, front lumps off the engine. Uh, so we need to get the exhaust pipe off first. So we've undone the uh, three clips to the rear pipe. So now we need to get this flexible pipe off. We've taken that off there, those two 13 mils. So now, let's get up there and have a look. Now we need to get this mounting off here. So those three we can get from underneath with a 17 mil socket. So that's okay. This back one here will have to get a spanner on that one. 17 mil spanner so we get we get the ring spanner on there and we can undo that from up on top <coughs> that's the exhaust off right we're draining the oil nice big allen key got the sump plug out and we'll drain that out you can see the um, rear exhaust flange there so we've got that out so what we need to do now we've got some of these oily bits to get out so we need to get that to get all this area out and then we can get on with the turbo so it's time now uh, that we need to start labeling things like these little pipes clips and things like that Right, so we need to start being a bit careful now. Nope, that makes no difference. Okay, that's got it. We've got the um, washing up bowl underneath to catch the oil. So now that gives us access to these two pipes here so we can get them off. Right, pull these off. It's a 27 mil spanner, so it's pretty big. So I've labeled that one front. Uh, obviously if that's the front, that's the back. bore you with that but that'll come off now uh, these oil cooler pipes are off we can start to remove all the links to the turbo and then we can remove the turbo we'll have to take the dipstick off and then we can remove the um, exhaust manifold and the turbo and the uh, pipe work We'll take these uh, radiator pipes off as well, label them so we'll make sure which they are. Right, I'll carry on with that. Right, we'll take these Allen bolts out of here, out the turbo, and we'll take this off of here. Now, it's easy to miss this 17mm bolt support bracket for this turbo, this oil pipe, so we'll keep hold of that. And when we've taken that off, we'll put it back up in the exhaust. So we'll take the um, oil feed off here. And we'll catch the oil in the washing up bowl. 
and we'll keep we'll make sure we've got the washers and we'll put that back in the oil. And we'll, uh, put it back in the hole it came out of. Excellent. Right, that'll keep that safe. Uh, we'll put that bolt back in there, put a little bit of put a bit of oil on it and just stick it back in there and there's no mistake. Right, we'll get a bit of WD-40, spray these nuts and um, get the manifold off. When you take this off, behind there, there's a 10 milli bolt supporting it. So you can undo that, undo that, but it won't come off until you undo that which bolts bolts through there in that cap the manifold nuts are uh, easy enough to deal with 13 mil you can catch them all with a socket that was, that's a bit of a dig for that so slacken all those off but here at the back down behind there is one nut that you'll have to do. I don't know if you can see it. You'll have to get it with an open ender. So you've got to get that undone first before you can get the manifold off. Now get it undone, you won't be able to get the nut off the end of the stud. So you get it, only do it with a open ender because if you put a ring span around the end of it, you'll undo it and you won't be able to get it off. So undo it with an open ender, slacken it off and then undo all the rest of the nuts, draw the manifold out a bit and you can finish that, finish that nut off. So let's do that. The front is now pretty well stripped off. There is a um, pipe which I forgot to mention on the bottom of the turbo it goes onto there. Uh, you can undo all that and forget that that's there and struggle with it. But um, there is a pipe under the bottom of the turbo that needs to be taken off. There's that mounting needs to be undone as well. So that's all clear. So we can um, now start at the back because we need to get down the back to um, undo the gear linkage. So all that uh, inlet manifold and all that um, gear there, we've got to take off. Right, we've made good progress. A lot of boxes of bits. I've tried to keep pretty tidy. I'll have a tidy up in a minute. So we've got the front of the engine off. I was going to get them the uh, inlet manifold off, but I can't um, loosen the underneath 13 mils under there. They're really tight. Uh, a couple of these Allen bolts here were tight as well. Uh, and I rounded that one and had to chisel it a bit to get it loose. So I don't want to be messing about down there and uh, damage those. And as well as a pipe bracket underneath that one, which is difficult to uh, maneuver around. So I'm going to leave that. I've taken the tank off. I've taken the pipes. I've taken the centers off, taken the fuel rail off. Uh, I've taken a few pipes off down there. And I've taken the cardboard uh, bulkhead out. And you can see down there is the um, gearbox, the gear change, the rigid gear change mounting, which mounts the gear lever on it. So they're the, they're the nuts. I've got them off. Uh, this uh, bendy 13mm uh, ratchet spanner, they're very useful. So we've got that off. That's loose. So we're not really far off, finished on top. Um, we started Hopa State, that's taken about five hours to do. So I'm going to stop now because uh, next time we come, we're going to have to get underneath and start uh, taking the suspension off. So we'll call it a day now and um, we'll start again on the next vid underneath. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.